good afternoon, and thank you all for coming. My name is Erica Geis, and I'm the state representative for Taylor, Romulus, and part of Van Buren Township. My guests and I are here today to talk about my legislation, House Bill 4206, that would allow and set standards for human breast milk banking in Michigan. Many mothers and the public at large are unaware that it is possible to donate excess milk for use in hospitals, particularly in the neonative intensive care unit, or the NICU. But this is a critical issue, as identified by doctors and officials. In 2011, the US Surgeon General issued a call to action to support breastfeeding. Among the items in that report was identify and address obstacles to greater availability of safe banked donor milk for fragile infants. This is backed up by a 2012 study from the American Academy of Pediatrics, which found that feeding human milk instead of formula to premature and critically ill infants created numerous benefits. In particular, the study found that human milk reduced the incidence of necrotizing enterocolitis, which is one of the top 10 causes of infant death. Babies who are fed human milk are also less frequently readmitted to the NICU and develop fewer long-term health problems. This is an especially important issue here in Michigan, which has one of the highest rates of infant mortality in the nation. Roughly seven infants die per 1,000 live births in our state, compared to about six in 1,000 nationally. In urban centers, the rate is much worse. Cities such as Detroit, Pontiac, Midland, Muskegon, and Saginaw have infant mortality rates ranging from 13.3 per 1,000 to 15.3 per 1,000. These rates are comparable to non-industrialized nations, and that's a disgrace. My legislation and its companion in the Senate, which Senator David Knizek introduced, can improve the lives of mothers and children across our state. Senator Knizek. Well, thank you, Representative. Uh, really appreciate your leadership on this issue and, of course, the opportunity to work together. Uh, before I begin, I also want to thank uh, Jane Jackson and Beth McClellan, who are here today uh, from the Black, Breast Mother, or Black Mothers uh, Breastfeeding Association for all that they're doing to stand up for Michigan women and children to promote the health benefits of breastfeeding. I'm very proud to sponsor Senate Bill 143, the companion legislation to establish uniform standards and guidelines for human breast milk banks here in the state of Michigan. This is a bicameral issue, and certainly it is our hope that it will be a bipartisan issue as well. Governor Snyder himself has called for the state to address this exceedingly high infant mortality rate. And our legislation would be an important step in ensuring premature and other at-risk infants receive the human milk that they need to survive and thrive. Now, I understand that as a man, it might seem like I'm an unusual advocate for breastfeeding and breast milk banking. But the health of our state depends on the health of our mothers and our children. As legislators, we are charged with pursuing solutions to the problems of our state and our communities. And the science and statistics behind this legislation are what compelled me to get involved. The United States Surgeon General, the American Academy of Pediatrics, and doctors all agree that breast milk can be extremely beneficial to struggling babies. As legislators, we should all be able to agree on that as well. In addition to encouraging mothers to nurse their own children, the legislation that I've introduced along with Representative Geis will create a safe and standardized way for other children to be able to receive and reap the benefits of human breast milk. But as we work to promote breast milk banking, we also have to proactively address the issues that might arise with it. As with any good idea, it is still vulnerable to bad actors and innovation must be tempered with regulation. As you'll soon hear from some of our guests, there are concerns about the practices of some milk banks and the possible exploitation of low-income mothers, especially in the urban areas that I represent. Representative Geis referred to those areas and how they have an inordinately, in, uh, inordinately high infant mortality rates. By adopting these internationally recognized standards and practicing and educating nursing mothers on the benefits of breastfeeding, this legislation will ensure that the primary motivation for both the mothers and the organizations involved is in breast milk banking 
is helping other infants in need. It will also make sure that the donation, collection, storage, and distribution of breast milk is being done to the utmost medical standards and not putting vulnerable children at even greater risk. I'm very proud to stand here today with Representative Geis, our guests, and certainly a number of my colleagues to fight for healthier children and a healthier Michigan. And I look forward to working with each and every person here to ensure that these bills make it through the legislature. Thank you very much. Thank you, Senator Knizek, and thank you for your support and, and your collaborative work on, on these bills. I'd like to introduce from the Black Mothers Breastfeeding Association, Jane Jackson. Thank you for being here today, Jane. Thank you, Senator Geis, for having me. I must say, it's a pleasure to be here today representing not only Black Mothers Breastfeeding Association, but the Osborne community in Detroit. It's important that before we allow a for-profit um, organization to literally walk into our community and assume that it's okay to pay a mom for her milk, um, minimal price at that, we, we want to make sure those moms are protected, that they're not going to risk the lives of their baby in, in the midst of trying to survive for that extra dollar. It's important that we keep that milk that is used and giving to the milk banks, that we keep it at home. We don't want um, that, that, that very resource that's in our community then taken out. We want to make sure that it's keeping local. So when we talk about exploiting mothers for their milk and for this valuable resource, not only for, um, for their babies, but even for the premature babies and, and the health and wealth and well-being of premature birth outcomes in the city of Detroit. Um, thank you guys for having me, and I appreciate it. Thank you, Jane. I'd like to now introduce Beth McClellan, a lactation consultant with Sparrow Hospital here in Lansing. Thank you very much. Um, I am Beth McClellan. I'm a lactation consultant and an RN, and um, I work in the neonatal intensive care unit in the hospital as a lactation consultant, but I'm also here representing the Michigan Breastfeeding Network, which is our state coalition. So I have kind of a double interest in this bill. Um, the Michigan Breastfeeding Network and myself um, support Bill 4206, um, and for a, a number of reasons, but two very important reasons. One is the education that it seeks to provide moms that are wanting to donate their milk. We have Moms are very generous individuals and they wanna give, but we wanna make sure that they're giving their milk in an acceptable fashion so that they're not taking away from their own babies and, that, and they know the, um, you know, how to do it and how to maintain their supply and all those kinds of things. There's no education out there right now, only what they get through the internet and through friends. So um, it's nice to have that. And it's also, um, as people have pointed out, a good idea to try to keep this milk in our own community. We're very blessed in Michigan to have the um, Bronson Mother's Milk Bank in Kalamazoo that is a nonprofit organization and it's through them that our hospital and all the hospitals throughout the state get their um, donor milk. And um, when I first started getting ordering donor milk for our hospital, it was about five, six years ago maybe, um, and we didn't use it all that much and I never had a problem with keeping it in stock. And I have to say probably within well, since Christmas, I think on three separate occasions, I've ordered donor milk, and it hasn't been available. So as more and more hospitals are using it, it's becoming more and more important to um, make sure that when moms are don donating this milk, that it's done in an appropriate manner where it's going to be treated, and um, so that's a product that we can use in the NICU, and that we have some for our babies here in Michigan. Thank you. Thank you again, Beth, and thank you again, Jane, and thank you, Senator Knizek. I introduced House Bill 4206 to address a critical health issue in our state. We can give critically ill and premature infants a better chance at a long, healthy life by ensuring that existing nonprofit milk banks in Michigan can continue to operate with their long-established high quality and ethical standards, working with donor mothers and getting pasteurized human milk to NICUs 
and that for-profit human milk banking companies operate without exploiting participating mothers and with the framework of high standards and ethical procedure practices that also get the milk harvested from their participants to Michigan NICUs. Creating standards and working together with healthcare providers, lactation professionals, and specialists, milk banks, and mothers themselves can ensure that safely collected and prepared human breast milk will reach the children who need it most. Mm -hmm.